Artificial intelligence, are super smart killer robots going to take over the world? Killer robots have been the stuff of nightmares for decades with fears that one day Terminator style soldiers could bring about the end of humanity. But are super smart killer robots really going to take over the world? Many a film and novel has been made spouting the dangers of artificial intelligence, AI, with clever robots wiping out humanity being the stuff of nightmares for decades. HAL 9000 from Arthur C. Clarke's 2001, A Space Odyssey brought dread to the nation with thoughts of a helpful artificial intelligence could be running your house. While I Robot, the 2004 Will Smith movie, showed us to be fearful in the event robots ever rose up against humankind. Creators may seem obsessed with waxing lyrical about humanity's death at the hands of artificial intelligence, but how likely is that? Are killer robots real? Killer robots, tanks, planes and ships could theoretically fight wars for states, without any human intervention. They will be weapons of terror, used by terrorists and rogue states against civilian populations and will follow any orders however evil, according to Toby Walsh, a professor from the University of New South Wales, Australia. He added, these will be weapons of mass destruction. One programmer and a 3D printer can do what previously took an army of people. They will industrially war, changing the speed and duration of how we can fight. They will be able to kill 24 to 7 and they will kill faster than humans can act to defend themselves. The situation is so terrifying. United Nations officials and governments arrived in Geneva this week to discuss how to regulate lethal autonomous weapon systems, laws. High military powers, including China, Israel, Russia, South Korea, the UK and the US, have already invested heavily in the development of autonomous weapons. And so far there is no specific international law to halt this trend. Stop the robot. Fears have grown to such a proportion that nearly 30 countries are boycotting a South Korean university over concerns their new lab could build the world's first killer robot. The Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology, KAIST, and its partner Hanwha Systems had been working towards advanced artificial intelligence until a petition signed by 50 researchers called for a boycott. KAIST's president, Sung Chol Shin, said, I would like to reaffirm that KAIST does not have any intention to engage in the development of lethal autonomous weapons systems and killer robots. As an academic institution, we value human rights and ethical standards to a very high degree, he added. I reaffirm once again that KAIST will not conduct any research activities counter to human dignity including autonomous weapons lacking meaningful human control. South Korea's Dodam Systems already manufactures a fully autonomous combat robot, a stationary turret, capable of detecting targets up to 3 kilometers away. Customers include the United Arab Emirates and Qatar and it has been tested on the highly militarist border with North Korea. But company executives told the BBC in 2015 there were self-imposed restrictions that required a human to deliver a lethal attack. So where does artificial intelligence fit into our society? While it is currently impossible for a super smart killer robot to wrap its cold, metallic fingers around your throat, artificial intelligence is still prevalent in today's society. AI is used in mobile phone tech, data collection and sales to help expedite processes and ease the load on computer chips. Almost every industry in the world will be affected by AI at some point and the trend is only set to be more common. Speaking exclusively to Express.co.uk, Nicholas Ismail, editor of UK tech magazine Information Age said, Artificial intelligence, AI, is effectively an umbrella term to describe processes of intelligent automation, like machine learning. True AI is when a computer or robot can think and act as a human brain would. In reality, these sentient, self-sufficient beings, seen in films like Ex Machina, are a long way off. At the moment, in this regard, companies using artificial intelligence is misleading. They are in fact using processes of automation, 
as unsexy as that might be. Instead, he claims we should be worried about how AI could be used elsewhere. Despite depictions of films, like The Terminator, the threats posed by AI will not take the form of an army of robots taking over the human race, he said. Rather, experts have warned that drones being turned into missiles, videos manipulating public opinion and automated hacking are realistic threats that could be exploited from artificial intelligence being used in the wrong hands. AI software is already being used in a wealth of sectors, some more surprising than you might think. For the first time, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration has approved an artificial intelligence diagnostic device that doesn't need a specialized doctor to interpret the results. The software program, called IDXDR, can detect a form of eye disease by looking at photos of the retina. Mr. Ismail told Express.co.uk, I don't think we will see a human-like robot performing surgery on anyone anytime soon. People need the human reassurance of a doctor in something like this, but as a tool robots slash automation is proving invaluable to modern medicine and diagnosis. So should we fear super smart killer robots? Nicholas Ismail thinks not. Such figures, like Tesla and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk, have been very vocal in his views on AI, it presents a danger and challenge to society, so its development must be monitored. Facebook's CEO, Mark Zuckerberg, is more welcoming, we should embrace AI because its benefits will help transform society for the better. I think the late, great Stephen Hawking put it best, artificial intelligence will either be the best or the worst thing, ever to happen to humanity. If its development is not monitored and continually reviewed by governments, ethical boards and private companies developing the technology then there is a chance the tech could have a negative impact. But you shouldn't fear the future.